Smart Tags is a good way to extend the data from your ERP system beyond your ERP system user group. That data can be seen in the Office products, specifically Word and Excel. What I wanted to do is go through a quick install of the Office Smart Tag Manager. There's a server component and a client component. Let's take a look at it. I'm going to start the install program right here. And we'll start the wizard. We're just going to install the server first and then the client. And I want to create a client template. This template can be stored on your file server or stored on a website. It makes it a lot easier to do the client install if you have multiple machines. So we'll save it right here. Then run the install. And log into the server. I have a previous install, so I'm going to install over that in the database. And it's done. Let's take a look and see what it installed. Go to the program files here. install it into this folder here and you can see that the the client installed in here so I'm gonna start the client now and that's done. Now there's one more thing we need to do. We've installed the server side and the client side software. And what we want to do now is there's a little administrative setup that needs to be done. So I'm going to go to start programs. I see my own a new program up here. Go to administration. Then I'll go up to administration here and groups. What we want to do is add some user groups. So we'll add a new group I'm going to add two groups. I'm going to add domain users and admin users. Here's my domain. I'm going to add this group here. Brings up this window here. I'm going to enable all of these. These are all the different entities. And the companies, I'm just going to do this one company here. And what I want to make sure is for each entity that I enable the specific views in the bottom. This will take a while, so let me do it. I'll be right back. So I enabled all the entities and all the views within that entity. I also added a new user group, or excuse me, the admin group as well. So I am done with this, and we are done here. These are all enabled. So let's try it out. I'm going to try it in Excel. Let me open up Excel here, and there's just two things I want to check out. I want to make sure that my macro settings are appropriate. Go to the Trust Center here. My macro settings, and I'm very trusting, so we're okay there. And then I also want to go into autocorrect options here and make sure that in the Smart Tags tab, these items are checked. That looks fine. I can hit OK. Now, let me enter some data from my Great Plains system. I'm going to enter Aaron Fitz. Let's just open this up. You'll notice the uh, Smart Tag icon there opens up. I can hover over that. And I'll look at some of the data. These are this is all the data that's available. I look at view summary here. Let's look at another item. 
view transactions. So it worked. So I'm extending my data from my GP system out to other users that might have Office, Word, or Excel. They can look at that data. Now you want to spend more time setting up the security. I did a very blanket uh, security option there. You'll want to refine yours quite a little bit. But you can see it's pretty easy to install. I think that you'll find it valuable. And I think certainly people outside of the accounting department, once they get used to the information that, that's available, they'll be using it on a regular basis.